Welcome. You are watching Wave Documentary. Do you know how the Nobel Prize, the most prestigious award in the world today, began? It's not just an award, but a mysterious, amazing and inspiring journey that started with a bang. Alfred Nobel was born on October 21st, 1833, in Stockholm, Sweden. His father, Emmanuel Nobel, was a talented engineer and inventor. His father's qualities gave Alfred a deep interest in science and technical skills. Emmanuel Nobel himself was a very talented inventor, striving to make a name for himself. Emmanuel Nobel made Alfred curious about inventions and engineering from his childhood. Little Alfred, who was weak in health but sharp in mind, loved to build things like his father and wanted to know about everything. He spent hours in his father's workshop watching new experiments. As Alfred grew older, he read many books about literature, science and philosophy. He enriched himself with all kind of knowledge which proved helpful in his inventions. He was fluent in Swedish, Russian, French, English and German which gave him knowledge of the world and different perspectives. These languages were a window for him to see the world. Growing up learning about different cultures and ideas began to shape his perspective and he dreamed of a world where everyone was understanding. He thought about how wonderful the world could be if everyone worked together. While his father's work often faced difficulties, Alfred's perseverance never wavered. He faced every challenge and never gave up. He learned from his father's struggles what could be achieved by continuous effort and creating new things. Alfred worked with his father on many inventions which laid a strong foundation for his future. All this gave him a path for his future and he became a visionary. Alfred Nobel made his dreams come true and changed the world forever with his inventions. Alfred Nobel's name is associated with one of the most powerful inventions in human history, dynamite. Wanting to make his father's construction work safer and more efficient, Nobel set out to control the dangerous power of nitroglycerin. The search for an explosive that was safe to use led him down a path of danger and sorrow. In 1864, a massive explosion occurred at his family's factory in Stockholm, killing many people, including his younger brother, Emil. This tragedy shook Alfred to his core, leaving him heartbroken and responsible. He became determined to find a way to make nitroglycerin safe. His efforts paid off in 1867 when he invented dynamite, a revolutionary invention that combined the explosive power of nitroglycerin with a material that stabilized it, making it much safer to handle and transport. Dynamite revolutionized mining, construction and warfare, ushering the world into a new era of technology. The invention of dynamite brought Alfred Nobel immense wealth and international recognition. However, it also brought a deep sorrow into his life, as the devastation caused by his creation became apparent. Newspapers dubbed him the Merchant of Death, a title that haunted him deeply. Beyond public scrutiny, Nobel also experienced personal tragedies that left an indelible mark on his heart. His love for Bertha Kinski, an Austrian pacifist, remained unrequited. Furthermore, the grief of losing his brother Emil in the factory explosion continued to gnaw at him. These events filled him with a sense of disillusionment and a yearning to leave behind a legacy that extended beyond his controversial invention, as Nobel witnessed the horrific consequences of war and the misuse of his own invention, he was filled with remorse and a desire to right his wrongs. While the world saw him as a brilliant mind, he saw himself as a man overshadowed by the unintended consequences of his creation. 
this inner turmoil, this struggle between his scientific genius and the ethical implications of his work would shape the final chapter of his life. Alfred Nobel, a man of contradictions, found himself at a crossroads. Nobel, whose name was synonymous with the invention of dynamite, underwent a period of profound introspection and re-evaluated his life's purpose. Haunted by the devastation caused by his own creation, he sought to redefine his legacy beyond dynamite. He realized that his invention had caused as much destruction as it had construction. This desire to leave a different mark on the world, to be remembered for something more than the merchant of death, led him on a path of self-reflection and philanthropy. Nobel, at this juncture in his life, delved deep within himself and resolved to chart a new course. He donated a significant portion of his wealth to various causes, including initiatives promoting peace, advancing scientific research, and recognizing literary achievements. Nobel pledged to use his fortune for the betterment of humanity. Nobel believed that the solutions to the world's greatest challenges lay in human ingenuity. And he sought to encourage progress in fields that showcased the best of humanity. He established the Nobel Prizes to celebrate excellence in science, literature and peace. His growing interest in literature, philosophy, and the arts revealed a man of immense intellectual depth, yearning for a better world beyond the realm of science and invention. Nobel, in his later years, immersed himself in these fields. His profound respect for human life, his empathy for the suffering caused by war, and his belief in the power of ideas to shape a better future. All these factors culminated in a decision that would forever alter how the world perceived him. Through the Nobel Prizes, he ensured that his name would be eternally associated with peace, progress and the betterment of humanity. The Birth of a Legacy In 1895, Alfred Nobel penned his last will and testament a document that would redefine his public image and establish a lasting legacy for generations to come. This will was written in the twilight of his life, a time when he reflected upon his life's work. In this document, he outlined his vision for a series of annual prizes to be awarded to those who, during the preceding year, shall have conferred the greatest benefit to humankind. This idea stemmed from his understanding of the impact of his inventions. The Nobel Prizes, as they came to be known, were to be awarded in five categories. Physics, Chemistry, Physiology or Medicine, Literature and Peace. These awards aimed to recognize individuals who had achieved excellence in their respective fields. Physiology or Medicine, Literature and Peace. These awards aim to recognize individuals who had achieved excellence in their respective fields. Literature and Peace Nobel ensured that through these awards, excellence in the service of humanity would be encouraged and celebrated. This unprecedented act of philanthropy, funded by the vast fortune he amassed from his inventions, demonstrated Nobel's unwavering belief in the power of human ingenuity and his desire to inspire future generations to strive for excellence in the service of humanity. This act was one of the most significant decisions of Nobel's life. This unprecedented act of philanthropy, funded by the vast fortune he amassed from his inventions, demonstrated Nobel's unwavering belief in the power of human ingenuity and his desire to inspire future generations to strive for excellence in the service of humanity. This act was one of the most significant decisions of Nobel's life. The announcement of his will was met with a mixture of astonishment and skepticism. Some deemed it an impossible dream, while others recognized it as a stroke of genius. Some questioned the intentions of a man who had profited from the tools of war 
while others lauded his vision and generosity. Nobel's move forced even his critics to reevaluate their perceptions, while others lauded his vision and generosity. Nobel's move forced even his critics to reevaluate their perceptions. Despite initial controversies, the Nobel Prizes quickly gained international recognition and became the most prestigious awards in their respective fields. Today, the Nobel Prizes are regarded with global reverence and stand as a testament to Alfred Nobel's extraordinary vision. When Alfred Nobel wrote his will, he did more than just establish awards. He ignited a revolution. This revolution wasn't confined to science and literature alone. It resonated across every facet of humanity. The Nobel Prizes have inspired countless thinkers, scientists, writers and peacemakers. Every year, as the Nobel Prizes are awarded, we celebrate the countless stories that empower us to change the world. In science, Nobel helped us unlock mysteries that were once beyond our grasp. In literature, he connected us with stories that touch our souls. And in the pursuit of peace, he reminded us of those who dedicated their lives to serving humanity. Nobel's legacy proved that one person's dream can change the world. Alfred Nobel's vision, enshrined in his will, lives on today and empowers us to strive for greatness. It inspires us to make a difference in the world. Alfred Nobel's legacy is rekindled every year through the achievements of those who receive the Nobel Prize. These awards are not just honors, but a beacon of hope, reminding us that we can all excel in our respective fields and make the world a better place. And so, Alfred Nobel's dream continues to guide us. The Nobel Prize stands as a testament to the pinnacle of human achievement. It reminds us that knowledge, creativity and peace are the greatest gifts of humanity. And that was the story of the Nobel Prize. A testament to human spirit and the triumph of the soul. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. You were watching Wave Documentary.